Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. Today we are going to talk about in play, right? That is how to handle alerts. Alerts means I'm talking about JavaScript alerts. I'm talking about prompt. I'm talking about some confirmation uh, pop-ups, right? So exactly same thing we do it in Selenium, just like driver dot switch to dot alert and dot accept dot dismiss and dot uh, get text method that we have right same thing similar kind of things that we have to do it here but playwright handles the alert automatically you don't need to handle it at all it means the moment playwright sees the alert on the page immediately it will be handled by default that's so amazing i'll show you practically so i'm talking about three types of alert first of all that i'm going to talk about let's see see this is the application that you go click on JS alert. So this is a normal JavaScript pop-up. JavaScript pop-up means you cannot click on OK with the XPath or CSS or something. See, I right click on it. You cannot do the inspect over here because this is not part of the DOM. Then this is the confirmation pop-up. You can see I am a JS confirm. So with OK and cancel button. So you can dismiss the pop-up. You can accept the pop-up. And then this is called the prompt. Prompt means uh, let's see, please enter your email ID or user ID or something like this. I'm adding, okay, fine. This is my ID test one, two, three and click on okay. Then it's saying a message you enter test one, two, three here, right? So these are the three types of JavaScript based alerts are there. One in the form of alert, confirm and the prompt. How exactly it works? You just go to the DOM, go to inspect, go to console and then you try to, there are three methods you try to write here, alert with some message over here. For example, let's see if I'm writing, hi, uh, this is an alert. See, message, this is an alert with the pop-up is coming, with the alert pop-up is coming, right? And then there is another thing is that you can write simple prompt also. See, I'm writing prompt. So prompt message also, let's see, this is prompt I'm messaging and then saying, this is prompt and then you can enter some value. This is a Naveen and okay. So the same message will be printed over here. So this is alert, this is prompt. So along with the prompt, you will get a text field also, right? And then there is one more that is called confirm, right? So let's see, confirm, are you sure you want to proceed further? Are you sure you want to make the payment like that? So this is called confirmation alert pop-up. And then we have to accept the alert like that, right? So there are three types of method. People might ask you at a time of interview also that alert, prompt and confirm. With prompt, you will get a text field. Only one text field, you will get it at a time. No two text field or multiple text fields. Alert means simple alert, some warning message or some error message that you want to display. And confirmation means the confirmation pop-up that are you sure you want to read this user? Are you sure you want to make the payment? Are you sure you want to create the user? Something like this. So how to handle these kind of scenarios, right? So exactly same thing, we can see it over here as well. So what I'll do, I'll just simply launch this application and uh, this is simple page dot. I'm going to write navigate method. Okay. Now see this carefully. What you just need to do is that you need to click on click for JS alert. You don't need to switch to this alert and click on accept dismiss nothing. Automatically it will be handled by playwright. So what are you just need to write page dot navigate. And then after that we have to click on click for JS alert. So let me just inspect that and uh, see this this is a button so you can use button with the a text also you can write it or you can write a css selector also so let's see i'm just going to click on this particular button with the xpath so page dot locator and uh, or you can directly write dot click also so i'll write page dot click method and uh, which locator that you are going to use it i'm going to use a button the text is equal to this and then it will click on it right so when you click on it the pop-up is coming okay so see this it will be handled automatically i'm not going to do anything see right click on it and run as java application the button pop-up will come and it will be handled automatically see done and see it actually clicked on this pop-up and then it's saying you successfully clicked an alert and when you see on the console there is no error also perfect so it will be handled by playwright by default internally okay that's a native feature of playwright now let's see whenever i'm clicking on click for js alert and click on okay it's saying you successfully clicked an alert in the result section so i'll try to capture this message also this is id equal to result so i'll do one thing that uh, i'll write page dot uh, page dot text content of which selector the selector of uh, this where id is this 
right so text content will give you a string whatever the result text that you are capturing and then the result text i'm printing it on the console as well so that we will get to know that is actually clicking on this uh, pop-up or not so let's run it again and then it will click on this and then saying you successfully clicked an alert and we are trying to capture the text of it so let's see it is giving you or not so here you can see yeah it's see you successfully clicked an alert so it means we have handled the alert and we have accepted the alert by default like that so this is the first option you can just try with some other pop-ups also if you really want to click on uh, let's see click for js confirm so you just need to write a confirm text over here so let's see click for js confirm on this button i'm going to click on it and let's see what happens in that case now this time it will click on the second the confirmation pop-up and see in this case also it's saying you clicked on cancel so yeah this is automatically it will dismiss the alert or it will simply handle the alert and it's saying you clicked on cancel so we don't need to handle and we don't need to write any single line of code for the alerts same thing you can try with the prompt also now what if i want to capture the text what i want to accept the alert what if i want to enter some value in that case what should i do so in that case now you have to handle with the help of some page listeners you have to add it so now what we are going to talk about is that once you define your page over here you can see browser.new page with this particular page you can define some pre-listener over here which will be running in the background all the time so here number of listeners you can see you just simply write on and then there is one listener that is called on dialog listener here so likewise you can see that we are multiple listeners like on close what uh, what exactly you want to uh, listen on console message on crash on dom event there are so many listeners are there we are going to talk about on dialog so let's see simple on dialog this one and it's saying you have to give me a consumer in the form of handler so what we have to do it here you simply say okay fine this is my dialog any variable name that you want to create okay put the help of lambda and then you start bracket over here and end it over here and with this particular dialog what exactly you want to do that so i'm going to define one handler here which will be applicable for the this particular page and whenever there is a pop-up is coming what exactly you want so i want okay first of all that from this particular dialog okay you capture the text so there is one message dot message over here so instead of get text method we have dot message and dot message will give you what see message displayed in the dis in the dialog it means whatever the message is there when you click on this it will capture this particular text because i want to validate that text as well so it will capture that and then i'm going to store inside the string text is equal to this and let's see i want to print it on the console as well system dot our admin talent text right and then after that what i have to do i have to accept the alert also so in that case now i'm going to create dialog dot accept method i have to use it here so when you write this particular listener so this is a listener entry that i have created along with the page this listener will be applicable for this page now from this page on this particular page whenever there is an alert is coming what exactly it will do it will capture the text of this alert and then it will accept it also automatically okay so let's run it and let's see it is working or not and uh, see it is actually clicked on ok and let's see it is capturing the text or not so here when you close it you can see i am a js confirm and then you clicked on ok so you can see i am js confirm is coming here absolutely fine right so when you close the uh, playwright when you terminate the session then it will display the message so for what you do here what you do whenever you are opening the page right always a good practice that page dot close also you do it and then after that i want to close the browser context also so you write browser dot close and then after that i want to close my playwright also so simply playwright dot close okay so let's run it again okay so browser is launched and then see it's absolutely working fine it's saying I am a JS confirm and then you clicked on OK. This is the exact message I'm JS. Uh, we clicked on actually JS confirm. I am a JS confirm and then it actually clicked on OK because we have returned a script with this dialog dot accept over here. You can write dialog dot dismiss also if you want to dismiss the alert. Okay, so I'll write it here for you guys. Uh, let's see, this is for uh, dialog dot dismiss also. You can write it, but let's see, I want to just accept the alert. Okay, so remember this thing when you add the listener. 
then whatever you have defined inside a listener then on the basis of the ad it will handle the alert if you don't write any listener if i remove it everything from here then by default it will be handled but why are we writing the custom listener over here so that we can capture the text and then we can decide i really want to accept it or not in such way you have to define the listener over here like this this is called the playwright handler playwright listener which will be running in the background all the time now i'll do one thing this is the alert confirm and the prompt so when you click on the prompt then you have to the enter value so how will you enter the value so that's what we exactly they have done this accept method is actually overloaded method if you really want to enter the value then you can call the second method and whatever the i mean whenever you want to enter any message or text you can just enter over here so that's why this accept method is actually overloaded method you can pass the value you can see returns when dialog has been accepted and then a text to enter in prompt you have to pass it so let's say i'm going to use some text over here so i'll write okay uh, hi this is my alert from i'll write from naveen automation labs this is the entire text that i'll be entering okay so let's see it is a working or not but for that we have to click on uh, js prompt so i'll do one thing i'm just going to inspect this guy and this is the prompt text that we need to uh, copy and replace it here so launch the url and then click on it and then immediately this listener will be activated and what will happen it will try to capture the text first of all it will try to capture this particular text i am a js prompt it will enter this value whatever the value that you are going to enter and then it will accept the alert okay so let's see it is working or not so page is launched entering the url and this is so awesome see i am a js prompt and then it's saying you entered hi this is my alert from Naveen Automation Labs because whatever the value that you are entering I'll write hi this is this and see same value will be captured over here so I'm just capturing the text just to verify uh, you know it's actually handle the alert or not right so likewise what I can I can do is that alert confirm prompt I'll try to click on it one by one okay so let's see first I am using these three methods click on prompt click on let's see alert click on js confirm and then click on prompt i hope there is no spelling mistake confirm alert and prompt one by one i'm going to click on it and with the single a listener will handle all the alerts one by one okay so i'll do one thing between every click okay i'll do one thing i'll just put a thread dot sleep also so that it will be three four one five uh, let's see 1500 milliseconds right and uh, add throws a declaration and this 500 then this second click and then the third click okay so let's see this is working or not so run as java application okay so entering the url i am a js alert this is absolutely working fine here so this is the magic that playwright will do you don't need to handle it alert like this it will the moment the alert is coming immediately it will just accept the alert if you really want to uh, define your own mechanism that okay no i want to dismiss i want to accept or i want to capture the text then only you can create this listener otherwise you don't need to do that so now i'll do one i'll do one thing i'm not i'm not going to define this listener remove this listener from here and then one by one i'm clicking on these uh, buttons and then the prompt text i uh, uh, the alert is coming and then i'll try to handle by default by playwright so playwright will handle it automatically see and then then this and then then this this is so perfect and then yeah because we are not entering anything so that's why it's saying you entered null there this is also working absolutely working fine there right so what it can do is that whenever you write capture this result actually every time so remove this red dot sleep now okay and when you click on this again you capture the result and when you click on the prompt and then i'll store only one single string same result variable that i'm going to use it perfect so let's see once again without wait and then we will try to capture the text the result text after clicking on each and every prompt or alert or confirmation pop-up that's so perfect see you successfully clicked an alert you cancelled click on cancel and then you entered nothing okay 
now i'm going to enable this particular uh, event the page event the page listener event that we have written now let's see once again so i'm giving you like all the different combinations so that you will understand it better and uh, yeah see perfect done and then this time i'm entering the value alert from navin automation labs it's absolutely working fine so remember one thing that you must be thinking that alert from navin automation labs you are entering then how exactly it is handling uh, these two alerts it will be handled if there is a alert text is written i mean alert text that you have to enter then only this particular text will be entered otherwise normal accept method this accept method will work for uh, with the text field alert also and without text field alert as well okay so this is how we handle the alerts and the pop-ups javascript pop-ups with playwright in upcoming videos i'll tell you how to handle the browser window and the tab window pop-ups also how to handle that like advertisement windows or something like this how to handle those windows as well so that's all for this particular video guys i hope you like it please share with others i'm sure playwright this uh, series will help you a lot to learn playwright properly i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all